When I first found this creepy crawly, I didn't know what it was. I was just working transplanting flowers and irises when I was surprised by this little thing I've never seen before. I accidentally dug them right up. I immediately thought like it was some kind of rare millipede species, but right away I could tell it wasn't. There was no antenna, and there wasn't all the hundreds of legs. But also when you looked at the head, it definitely looked like a beetle. A beetle's head. But when I got back to my computer, my searches of beetle with caterpillar body or spotted caterpillar beetle and all these variations and I wasn't getting any hits. It took me a while actually to go through pictures and names and eventually land on the railroad worm. But it's actually not a worm or a caterpillar. It's a larva. This is a larva of a beetle of the genus Frixothrix and from the family Fengatidae. Fengatidae is the third largest family with 244 bioluminescent species distributed only in the Americas, but it's still the least studied. Railroad worms are also known as glow worms, but they got the name railroad worms because of the bioluminescent sections of their body. It was once said the sides of their body looked like train car windows when they lit up at night, and it stuck. They can also make their heads glow red too, which is thought to scare off predators and to help see better at night. It's believed that they're a warning sign to nocturnal predators as a defense function that can suddenly be turned on to spook predators with a sudden flash or just to stay lit, trying to signal, hey, I'm not edible. These railroad worms are an essential biological species due to its bicolor biluminescence, the organism that produces true red light. But to find another bug that can light up like fireflies at night? How cool. I had, no, I had no idea these guys even existed. Is this the first time you're hearing about them too? They're able to light up because of the oxidative enzymes that they have that produce bioluminescence. The lights are created using luciferin and the different luciferases in their bodies. The same molecules and enzymes that lightning bugs and fireflies use to make their abdomens glow. So here's the thing to also know. The female railroad worms never go through metamorphosis and turn into beetles. Only the males do. They retain their larval features throughout their whole lives. They stay in larva form. So it's possible that if you were to ever see a Frixothrix larva, it's not actually a larva at all. It's just one of the females that are now existing in the larva form. But when a railroad worm male grows up, they morph into a beetle with an astonishing feathery antenna. Look at this. But these fancy antenna are used to detect and follow pheromones produced by the female. The best time to find these railroad worms is at night or right after a rainstorm, especially a summer rain. They can be found in wet soil and under leaves of trees. During the day, the females will burrow underground, and at night is when they come out for food. But what I did here, I accidentally dug them up gardening during the day. They can be found from northern United States all the way over to Chile, the highest diversity being in the tropical regions. It's been observed that the females also often glow continuously when they curl themselves around their eggs. How special and loving. It's still being stated though that all these light and photic emissions serve only for defense and not being used for courtship. I guess they just simply find themselves through the pheromones and that's easy enough. They can easily be confused for millipedes or colorful millipedes too because of their appearance, but the key difference is that they only have six legs, whereas millipedes have several hundred, and ironically, they're being mistaken for the same insect that they have the preference of eating. The millipede. Ah, I like millipedes. I wish they didn't like eating them. Go after the centipedes instead. I have a millipede video too to be sure to check out.
in conclusion, it's all good news. They're cool to look at, and these railroad worms are beneficial. They're welcomed in everybody's gardens because they help eat all garden pests, so it's always a good sign when you see one. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.